Hello friends, today's topic is about fibrinolysis and its applied aspect. Fibrinolysis means simple that clot breaking process in our body. So what is the clinical significance or applied aspect of this fibrinolysis that we will look first then we are going to understand about fibrinolysis. So in relation to fibrinolysis, so you have to remember that thrombosis is the main reason or main cause for the myocardial infarction and stroke. So heart attack and stroke is mostly due to thrombosis or clot. So if clot in the coronary artery that can lead to the myocardial infarction, clot in the cerebral artery that can lead to the stroke. So in these two emergency situation, if tissue plasminogen activator or alteplase is given or urokinase or streptokinase is injected intravenously in the early phase of thrombosis or clot forming process, the clot may be dissolved and recovery of the patient is possible. So the main line of treatment in these two emergency situation that is providing of this particular fiber fibrinolysis agent. So these all are working as a fibrinolytic agent. So exert in detail of fibrinolysis that we will look. So whenever the injury that clot is produced but this clot need to be dissolved. These unwanted fibrin clots are continuously dissolved in our body and that is possible with the help of plasmin. That is one type of the serine protease. Serine protease means over the active site of plasmin serine amino acid is present. So its inactive precursor is plasminogen means from the plasminogen particularly this plasmin is generated active plasmin is generated and that is helping to dissolve this unwanted fibrin clot so it is the important process in a fibrinolysis now once the function of plasmin is over it is also need to be dissolved or it need to be inactivated so plasmin is again inactivated by the antiplasmin or you can say that alpha 2 antiplasmin now for this plasmin again one more molecule that tissue plasminogen activator simple from the name tissue plasminogen activator means activator of the plasminogen so it is again a serine protease which is present in a vascular endothelium means inner layer of this vascular system this tissue plasminogen activator serine protease is present so whenever the injury to this vascular system that tissue plasminogen activator will be released so it is released in a response of the injury and that will bind to the fibrin clot and helping to dissolve this fibrin clot but how it will dissolve this fibrin clot basically this tissue plasminogen activator will activate the plasminogen so once plasminogen is active that will form the plasmin so that plasmin is again ultimately helping to dissolve the clot so tissue plasminogen activator cleaves the plasminogen to generate plasmin and that will helping to dissolve the clot same way as a tissue plasminogen activator urokinase is another activator of the plasminogen so that is named after the first isolation from the urine so urokinase is basically produced from the macrophage monocyte and fibroblasts these are the particular cell which are found over the site of injury so from from this particular side of uh, site that cell is released the urokinase that will again activate the plasminogen and helping to dissolve the clot same way as a urokinase you have to remember that streptokinase is which is isolated from the streptococci is another fibrinolytic agent so this particular tissue plasminogen activator urokinase and streptokinase they are helping to the dissolve this unwanted clot and that is the main line of treatment of emergency situation like myocardial infarction and stroke to prevent any further consequences of that emergency situation. So that's all about the fibrinolysis and its applied aspect.